Morning YouTube. We're up in the Lake District. Up in the mountains. Quite an ambitious walk. Here we are now. Up on the haystacks. It's typical summit or nothing mountain weather. Then we work our way over to Kirk Fell. It's quite a climb up there. It don't look so bad. That destroyed me, that f***ing hell. In the comments, someone's going to be like, oh no, you never go left. At 899 metres, Great Gables, the biggest summit of the day. Man, does it look a long way up. It looks a monster. Summit or nothing! Morning YouTube, it's Trevor here. Buongiorno, Nathan. Do you want to tell them where we are? Um, yeah, can do. We're at Honister Pass. Is that where yeah, we're? Yeah, Honister Slate Mine actually. But we're up in the Lake District. Quite an ambitious walk, especially as one of us is injured. Yeah, dump me back in and I at work. But, you know, we'll try it. We was meant to camp last night, but we didn't in the end. We got a travel lodge. And to be honest, the weather was horrendous, so we're secretly pleased <laughs> that we decided that. Nate they said, I think with all the shit camps we've had, we owe ourselves this. I think we do. So we had a nice fry up this morning, managed to get a shower in before, and now a mountain. So today's walk is going to take us up over Honister Crag to Fleetworth Pike. Then we work our way over to Haystacks, and then from Haystacks round to Kirk Fell. Then over to Great Gables, which will be the biggest summit of the day at 899 meters. And then Green Gable, Brandreth, and Greynot. So we'll be ticking off one or two uh, wine rights today. Popper. It's been a while since we've been up a mountain. The last mountain we've done together was Nevis. Ben Nevis. I've done a couple in 2019. Nothing last year. So, secretly I'm glad he's injured. <laughs> so I can uh, go at a chilled pace. Right, we followed the road up. And now we've left it. As we come up over Honister Crags off the beaten track a bit, warming up. Some of you might feel that it's unwise to come hiking unnecessarily up in the mountains in the lakes with a bad back. And although my back is quite bad, you know, I've got my hiking poles. I'm not taking any painkillers or medication at the minute. This is just, you know, it's quite manageable without any of that. And um, there are several points on the walk where if it's too much, we can make it shorter if necessary. I don't want you thinking we're taking unnecessary risks whilst doing this. To be honest, the more I'm up, the more I'm mobile, the easier it seems to be. So I'm hoping by the end of the day, I might even put the poles away and have a bit of a spring in my step. What have I got over there, Trevor? Have I got a view over? Oh, it's got a hell of a drop, yeah. Fair B. Yeah, look at that. Look at that I'm there. gonna, I will have a look at it. Little thing down there. Oh, yeah. It's quite the view down there. <laughs> quite the drop. Isn't it? There's fair. It's high enough to make me feel flipping nauseous looking down it. <laughs> it was cool the way the cloud was kicking through a minute ago. Yeah, it's it? swirling right, Drew. I think we're going to be alright, it's going to clear, it's going to lift later, so the first walk of the day you don't want heat bearing down on you, do you? The first up. And then by the time we do Great Gable at the end, that's going to be quite the climb, so this is good preparation for that, isn't it? Yep. We call this Preparation H. On the old, <laughs> it feels good. Oh, up in the cloud now. And it uh, doesn't seem to be much of a defined track, does it? We heard last night we were given some sound advice by a local actually whilst we were drinking a few beers about not needing a map or any real sort of navigational aid just go up and feel your way and, you know all those times we've been lost and you know you guys were giving us helpful 
tips and hints on navigation and safety, safety and stuff. Turns out we were all wrong. So uh, yeah, just don't worry about your map. It's not our advice as someone else. <laughs> it's like the dead marshes. Heading up now, Fleetworth Pike. We're nearly there. The first up. And it's typical summit or nothing mountain weather. Yeah, good job. We got View Ranger. We got the map and compass, but the ability to zoom in on the features in View Ranger, definitely. Yeah, and also you can think you're on a track with the map and compass, whereas View Ranger, you can tell when you're veering. I think if we was good at map reading, we'd be able to tell if we was good at map. <laughs> yeah. Chinese here. Oh no! There's a whole lunch in there. Here we are at Fleetwood Popsicle. Yeah. Is that what it's called? Fleetworth Park. 648 metres up above sea level of the sea. But I can't help but think that over here and over here and possibly over there are some fantastic views. Degrees. What? <laughs> Do you know what I fancy? Go on. Giving it one. First one of the day, innit? First one of the day, first no one, one for one. We might not be able to do any more today because of might be busy. population. <laughs> All right, three, two, one. Summon on the bed! Fleetwood Park in the Lake District. Genuine one. Oh, just as we was heading off for Pike then, the wind blew through, cleared all the cloud. We could see where we were going over there. Saw some views. It looked quite vast, <laughs> quite steep. Impressive, but impressive, yeah. Gaining some confidence now on our Trev. A hiking poles back on the backpack. Sort of walking with a bit more strength and a bit more confidence. And um Oh, proper excited for the for the views we got here. There's even breaks in the cloud where you can see a little bit of blue coming through. Got the old DSLR out, getting excited about some shots. Oh, it's just exciting, isn't it? It's up in the mountains, loving life. Just look how the clouds moving and shifting, and in some places it's like coming down the mountains, in some places it's going up and twirling. A bit of sun over there. Beautiful. It's clearing, we've come down a little bit out of the cloud. See some mountains? Taking in some views here. We're just saying that we haven't met another person on this route yet. Out of all the mountain walks we've done, this has been the quietest so far. I'm sure it'll be busier once we get round to Great Gable. So that's a going. Up there. It'd be cool if you was uh, stuck out in the weather. You'd be glad to come across it, wouldn't you? This is the first boffy I've ever been in, I think. Looks like a bit of a river crossing down there, mate. Who didn't bring their gaiters? <laughs> I did bring them, but I've left them because I've bought a new bag and I've swapped things over and I had a bag packed for camping and I got a bit confused at the back of the car this morning <laughs> swapping stuff over and I've come away without my knee braces which is good because my f***ing knee's hurting 
without me gaiters, which is good because we've got a river crossing. <sighs> Fun. down again not the lowest we're going to come today but when you come down you go back up didn't you you can see that's where Fleetworth Pike is up at the top of that so we've worked down here now we've got to work up to the haystacks That. That's what we're here for, isn't it? Even with the cloud, the low cloud, it's just sort of making it, capping off the taller mountains and stunning. If only you could bottle that. best uh, terrain this walk, very rocky, quite slippery, but uh, the views are stunning. Look, this Blackbeck Tarn. Now we're going up here to the haystacks. Did you just dab? <laughs> Whenever I'm um, out walking and I've got my camera in my bag, I'm always like reluctant at the start to get it out. I'm like, oh, it's a faff, it's a hassle. The moment I've got it in my hand, I'm taking photos of bloody everything. Look at the light on Buttermere now, on the little village. Beautiful. And if I didn't have my camera in my hand, I'd be like, oh, I've missed it, oh, I've missed it. I'm missing it talking to you now, but oh, it's beautiful. I'm not a very good photographer, but there's photographs of everything to be taken right now. Love it. That's beautiful, isn't it? Honestly, I just want to stay here. Looking at that. See, this is why I wanted to come to the Lake District. You guys voted as well. I put it to you. Where do you want to see us go? You said the Lake District. And I was the same. This kind of beauty is just... I love the lakes. I think so. Don't know. Here we are now. Up on the haystacks. That was quite a climb, that last little bit. Look at this. That's where we've walked, look. We was up there earlier. Right up there. We've come all down there. All up and around here. Idiots. It's like when you do the 10 tours, the mini 10 tours, and you can look back and see everywhere you've been. This is a bit like that. But instead of looking at a tour, looking at a proper mountain, and like, we've been up that mountain. We've been up that mountain. Now we've got to go up them mountains, <laughs> you know? No, I'd like to get to the end of my life and say, I've done this sort of thing, you know? It's great, isn't it? Rather than, uh, I wish I'd done this sort of thing. Yeah, you enjoying it, Knife? Mountains, yeah, no, I am, yeah. 
Yeah, obviously it'd be nice if my back wasn't stiff and causing a bit of grief, but it is loosening up now. I've taken some painkillers, seems all right. But now, we're, you know, every corner we've been around today, it's just, oh my God, look at that. Oh my God, look at that. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. I've almost ran out of oh my, my, gosh. Oh my God's foos. There's some foos. Yeah. Investigating the map. Having a having a look at old map, yeah. Yeah. What if I've done, yeah? Well, I started here. And yeah. Then honest to mine. Gone up here, yeah. round here. Yeah. Fleetworth Pike. Down here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> round here. Yeah. And this is Pace where it's been. There's still a fair walk left. Yeah. Like you said, Kirk fell. Looking like a nasty long old climb. Yeah. It's like I think near... this is all downhill now. Down yeah. to the river. And then it's got nearly two then, kilometres solid of up. Yeah, that's going to be a big chunk of the day. But once we're up there, yeah, put our feet up, can't we? Yeah, chill, bruv. Because <laughs> we've only got half of the walk left. Yeah. Fair old walk. It's a good time though, 12 o'clock. We'd usually be starting a walk about now, wouldn't we? Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Do you want to see some new bits of mine? Look. First of all, my new rucksack, my low alpine air zone trail 30. Hello, isn't it? It's a little bit more expensive than what I usually use, but I thought for the mountains I wanted something that was going to be comfortable and get the weight off my back, but something still big enough to carry all my crap, because I do love to carry 30 litres of crap with me. It's got nice stretchy side pockets. It's got hiking pole attachments on both sides. Uh, it's got another elasticated pocket on the front and another one on the side so I've got me two bottles of water in there it's got two pockets in the lid and then you saw earlier the rain cover how that worked how that operated if you didn't here it is but it's got like the breathable back proper breathable back but also I've just put the the rain cover on and it's got this bit here look they clip in behind the, the back in so it won't come off I thought that was very good yeah it's really comfy it costs about 70 quid. I'll put a link here in case you're interested. But apart from that, every other bag that I picked up was a woman's bag. <laughs> oh, this one looks nice. This one looks good. Oh, it's a woman's bag again. So I don't know what the difference between a woman's and a man's bag is. About 30 quid usually. But what else have I got? I got myself some black diamond hiking poles. I got them at the same time as me. If I wasn't copying, I bought both a set. Then I've got this new charger here and I've got my other charger there that I'm charging my phone on that will charge a phone as well you sit your phone on it and it will charge which is good but I'm just charging the little Sony in there see plug straight in and that's what I'm telling new bits so over. I think we're going down here somewhere up there over those down there, up there, and then back along that way to go over. So some of you lovely lot out there in YouTube land might be wondering about the clothes I'm wearing. Starting at the bottom, heading upwards. So I've got my Scarpa GTX boots on. Uh, I've got my Montane hiking trousers on. I've got a regatta fleece. Um, I have got a wicking top on underneath, but I don't know what the brand of that is. I've got my Berghouse Aaron jacket on. Got a buff neck thing that's doubling up as a hat. And then I'm using my Low Alpine Z20 day pack. Links to all of that will be in the uh, description below if any of you are interested. Yeah, so there. Uh, enjoy. We're stuck. We can't go any further. <laughs> it's locked from the inside. So, freedom. Now we got a bit of a steep descent. And then we've got to get all the way back up there. We're going down. Yep. Today for the walk, I am wearing my Mindal Bhutan hiking boots. I've got a pair of Kuercha 4 class hiking trousers with unzippable bottoms. I've got a Mountain Warehouse Wiccan polo shirt. I've got a regatta 
outdoors fleece and a regatta Imba 2 jacket. Little, little valley down here by the river. Ooh. Lone tree over there. It's gorgeous. Anyway, Turk fell. We've got to go up there now. It don't look so bad until you see those really tiny, colourful dots. Oh yeah. That's People and Starting up. We're a fraction of the way up. So when I looked at the uh, map on haystacks there, it uh, really did look like it was Two kilometer meters. Two kilometer meters. Two kilometer meters. How's that for a measurement? Two kilometer meters of up. And uh, what have we done? Possibly two, three hundred meters of that. Don't even feel like we're at the base of the actual mountain yet. Up here. Doesn't seem overly pole friendly. No. Look at that. Hey. Beautiful. Might be a lot of up, but some beautiful bits and pieces on the way up. Look at this. Hey. How are you feeling about it, sir? Oh. Oh. Oh, that's pretty, isn't it? Oh, it's handsome, isn't it? That's what you call a wallet card, isn't it? Oh, as far as it's missing water, boy. Isn't that like the song, Don't Go Chasing Wallet Cards? This is our land. Right up there we've been. Right up there. And now up there. So that's the first hill we went up. Then we went over to here. And then we come all the way back. Then we come down this crevasse over here with the water in it. We follow the river along and down. We cross the river at the bridge just behind Trev. And now we've come all the way back up here. Done a big walk, haven't we? Have we done a big walk? It's just like a massive, exploded, exaggerated version of, of Dartmoor. It's like someone's been on a terrain editor on Dartmoor and just pulled all of the hills out a little bit more and pushed all the valleys down a bit more. It's f***ing crazy. Sweating a bit now. Whew! Lose some layers. What on it now? We're just looking. Our path goes up that crag up there. Like a shoot. What are we telling about? Well, I was just thinking to myself. Now, 
it's almost from here up it's almost at the scale of a Dartmoor <coughs> type up yeah but a lot more sinister a lot more sinister <laughs> it's quite the up isn't it isn't it Compose myself a minute, and then we're on it. <sighs> oh, yeah, it's good to know once we're up there, that's the worst of it, except for the bit down and up between Kirkfell and Great Gable will probably be a bit of a another steep up, wouldn't it? Good. But then, then it's all uh, all on the flip side. On the waddy cod. On the waddy cod. It's possibly the most exciting bit of the walk today. <laughs> Coming up. Views now look across these mountains. Oh, stunning, isn't it? me. Quite a scramble now I think up there. I'm getting very hot. I'm going to take this jacket off next and then get up there. Well I've arrived a bit of a fork in the road. Either up this side or up this side. Neither of them look particularly um, inviting but we're going to have to make a decision. I think um, with these or shoots or whatever you want to call them with a bit of a scrabble. I think it's probably better that we slowly work our way up together just in case either or of us has any trouble. So uh, I'll wait for Trev to get here, let him have a bit of a breather, catch his breath, let him make the decision which one he feels more comfortable with and then um, yeah we'll slowly plod our way up from there. In the meantime have a look at some of this. Hello, mate. What do we reckon? Oh, right. Well, there's one route. There's the other. Looking on my view ranger, neither of them seem to be the route. <laughs> I don't know whether we're going to get up to there and then not be able to. Like, there's a bit of a crag up there, isn't there? Yeah. You know, whether we get up there and then it's a severe drop down. Well, yeah. I was going to say, do you want me to go up here and then chat down to you? But it's better with whichever. We way stick we go, together. together. Yeah. I think go up there, perhaps. Yeah, I was thinking that one. Yeah, let's do that one. Yeah. Yeah, I reckon. When you're ready. Okay. That looks more like a slip. That looks more like a path. I think it's that one. Which one? That one. It's going to be fun finding out, isn't it? <laughs> this is it. Something or nothing. Three points of contact, bruv. That's it. Yeah. I'll just drag me cock along the floor. <laughs> you know what's going to happen, don't you? What? In the comments, someone's going to be like, Oh no, you never go left. Yeah. No, 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 no. <sighs> Because I've got my phone, I mean, don't like it in that pocket. Can you just I'll stick it there? I can feel when I'm bending my leg, I've snapped phones like that in my pocket, <laughs> you know. <sighs> Mountain man, I didn't echo as much as I thought. Well, that was quite the scramble. Enjoyed that. Caught me red handed though. Let's get up on the plateau. Nearly there. Oh. Oh. 
It's the worst of it. It's the worst of it. It's not the last of it, but it's the worst of it. Well, I'm not going to lie. I am pretty f***ed. We've still got four miles left. Four mountain miles. It's not like walking the coast. We're walking Dartmoor. This is hard walking. But it's lovely to see all these mountains around us. And now we are getting up above them. Not all of them. But certainly where we've been today. Oh shit. Look summit, doesn't it, mate? Oh, what, this summit? Yeah, no, it's not that summit. So here we are now, up at the top of Kirk Fell. That's Scarfell Pike over there. Scarfell Pike, there. So that's Ling Mel in front of it. The cliff we almost walked off. There. Great gable from here. It looks a monster. How do we even get up there? Oh, I wondered why everyone goes up to Great Gable from Seafweight. got to go to get up there so what are you saying Nick? where do you think we're heading if we follow that path past these pines yeah and it's going to head up that scree and we're going to get onto that little sort of plateau yeah beneath both of these and i'm hoping that there'll be some sort of obvious path clearly it's not up here no might have been once upon a time i think it's over where them people are coming what down I'm that red track that? There is a path heading up the side of it, look. You know, I don't know. It looks dodgy once you get up the f***ing top there, that's the thing. Doesn't seem, it just seems scrabbling and rocky and scree. I don't know whether we go over to... What, this great gable and just do green gable? No, the middle bit perhaps. What, and then up and back? Up and back's not the end of the world. How about falling off the side of a mountain's the end of the world? How about I do the screen route, you do the other route? Well, I know because if you got in trouble, where there is that? There's no one there. Stick together on these adventures, mate. We've come down that far. We've basically got to climb another mountain again. <laughs> oh. It looks more like a shoulder, like you know, a little shoulder between the two from down there but from here looking up and I cannot see a path up that side it's freaking me out a bit I'm not confident there seems to be a path that sort of gets up but then it's just scree there's like a big scree area which if you look below it there's just all there it's just a drop I don't want to be scrambling around on that, following Nafe up there. I think he wants to, but I'm not so sure. So, we're at the bottom of uh, Great Gable now. Man, does it look a long way up. Tall. Tall, huh? Tall. And, uh, yeah, just going to follow this little path, see where this little path takes us, and then make a decision on the way. It does look quite intimidating.
come from. And over there. At least, right, it's quite a direct route and it's not zigzagging all over the place. Yeah, it's a line. And an unnecessary miles from the road. Lots of little steps. My mindset is with these things is just to keep moving. Doesn't matter how small the steps are, as long as you keep little steps and keep stepping. You know, the moment you stop stepping, it's so much harder to move forward. But the trouble with this stuff is, is it's slipping. Here we go. Hello. That stone went. Oh, just ruptured my gut doing that. Strain myself. Fuck it. Oh. Right. Hello. Headed up Windy Gap. In eight hours? Eight hours. Have we bitten off more than we can chew? Your red line on the map doesn't go up Windy Gap. See? That's Windy Gap. Yeah. That's why I thought it was going up there. Yeah. I think it probably was meant to, but... <sighs> what are we doing, Trev? F***ing hell. I don't know. It's a bit like it, isn't it? Mm. That destroyed me, that f***ing hell. That was a long up, wasn't it? That was long, and it was on that shitty old f***ing... shit, wasn't it? It was on the shitty old shit, wasn't it? Slipping around. It's like walking on sand, isn't it? Cussing and gwaying. Oh, it's with telling and... Over. True. True. Yeah, Actually, gonna... Kirk Fell destroyed me. I was fucked at the top of that. Well, I'll tell you what. It's a shame we didn't bring a bivvy bag or something. Just sleep here and do the rest of my... <laughs> yeah. I am fucking job fucked. <sighs> job fucked. <sighs> Thing is, because we're not eating meals, I'm really bought anything else. I thought we usually eat a mill on the top of a mountain, doesn't it? There's loads of shit back in the car. Yeah, it's not here. What have you, you got in your bag? I've got a half a flapjack that I've been saving. Right. I've got a whole bag of... Oh, I've got some fruit and nuts. Mate, there's 1,500 calories in here. Yeah, I'll just shove some nuts in my mouth. <laughs> well... It's Friday night, so <laughs> normal. So you reckon we've got another 150 metres of up so that the, way? So the map says, yeah. Then we've got to come back. Yeah. Another 100, another 100 metres that way? 50 metres to Green Gable and then there's another 40, 50 metres to the next one on. It's High Willows, isn't it? It's High Willows from Rautor. <laughs> Bit of a scramble. Probably much the same as the other side. <laughs> I don't know, maybe we should have gone up the other side, I don't know. Put some miles on here, some extra climbing. Oh, it just 
didn't look right outside. We're nearly there. You know, I'll go have some food. When we're at the top, I don't care. If Nath had his jet boy, we'd stop. He'd have stopped for food. <sighs> and a coffee. Hot coffee, food, and then the last two miles. Stomping home. That way, somewhere. <sighs> that was hell. Honest, most, most savage ascent of the day. I'm coming, fun boy. <sighs> Fuck it out. <sighs> All right. Where, where's B? Hey. Where's B? This is Great Gable. Gert Gable. Gert Gable. <sighs> Got to me. Highest point of the day. Three, two, two one. one. Solid on Alvin! Like that. For old time's sake. For old time's sake. For you boys. Yeah. For getting up mountains. Oh, no, for money and coffee or something. Yep. Yeah. We're gonna have a break. Alright, fuck it. Might even boil some more and have that for food. Come on. Finally, going to eat a fire pot meal. I've uh, had it for ages. This is chili con carne. So, hopefully, it's nice. They were meant to be good. I see they sell them in go outdoors now. And then I've got me American Blend Al Shazira. I've got me Jet Boil today as well. See? Which, although they are pricey and I do slag them off a lot, it is easier. And my little stove wasn't very good in the wind last time i couldn't have a coffee in the morning so i'll come back to the jet boil for this you know it is reliable like that i have got the jobs worth as well but i don't know i just bought the jet boil i think it's done isn't it right. is now well looks meaty in there that looks proper meaty doesn't it looking forward to this hmm Tell you what, that tastes like chilli. Decent meat, you know, it's hot, spicy, it's got chilli beans in it. I think if you're going to make a chilli or a curry, you can't be afraid to make it a little bit hot, you know? Nice one, fire pot. Well done, mate. Love it. Cheers, boy. <laughs> So there we go, that was great Gable. It's late in the day now, it's six o'clock. So I had my tea. So that was, what was that, the fourth? Third. So that was the third Wainwright of the day. Fourth. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and then this one. And now we're going to Green Gable. The brand drift. I think there's three on the way home, isn't there? Yeah. Journey's not over yet. Can we get back before dark? Watch this channel. Please. And subscribe. to last up of the day. <laughs> Turds. So 
So that took about 25 minutes to get from the uh, summit of Grey Gable to the summit of Green Gable. So that was moving pretty quick. Three, two, one, have a look! It's a smaller <sighs> summit. So it is slightly smaller summit, yeah. Right then, let's get out of here. Homeward bound. Is it this one? I hope so. I'll see Telly. This, at Pottinger now is the last stop of the day, up to Brandreth, but we are edging ever closer to the end of this walk. Now this, this reminds me of that. Yeah. Yeah, this is very much like Dartmoor, up here. Ever touch a car and ever? Ever touch a cairn ever? Have you touched the cairn, sir? So that was a bit more manageable climb, but it was still a climb. Got to be up. That really must be the last one of the yeah. day, please. I think the next one is lower down. I hope so. Oh, Here Trent we go. Wood Sandcox is feeling a little bit worse for wear, isn't you? Sir? Oh, I'm all right. It's good. We needed this. We needed this. So this is brand with everyone. Look at it. We do mountains, not oh. just uh, not just dark moors. Stoned. I wish I was. Oh, last, last few steps back. Oh. Taking these views before we drop. So, Nath, six out of seven Wainwrights. Yep. At one point now, I was considering not going up <laughs> anymore. <laughs> but we did it. A lot tougher than the Dartmoor in a day I'd done. That was a piece of piss compared to this. A lot of big ups. But we've done them. Oh. Now we've got one more yeah, and we just over there. Right the way on, it? And then down. Feels a bit more landy. On this stretch, we can see the mine where we're heading. Still looks a fair way off, mind. Can't see it now. Could a minute ago. I'll show you in a minute. And here we are. The last Wainwright of the day. Grey knots. See where we're going now. You see the mine. You see where we've been. Up there. Down there. Over to there, to the haystacks. Up right up there. <laughs> it's been a long day. It's this part of any day like this where you know that you've hit your last summit, you know how close the car is. A little bit stiff, a little bit sore, a little bit tired and uh, all of a sudden I get a proper resurgence of last ditched effort energy. I can just charge to the car but I really have jarred my right knee. Yeah, I've got quite a limp on. Every time we do something like this, I feel so old now. Body feels like it's like saying, nope, nope, you've done too much. I'm starting to know how, how Moby felt like, you know, brain still willing, but the body's not, not quite able to, to keep up. But, you know, we've started bagging Wainwrights now, so that's the thing. So it looks like um, we're gonna have to keep doing more. We might tone down the mileage and the ambition a bit in a day in the future. Who knows? I don't really know where I'm going now. I'm just kind of following what looks to be a path. Just waffling, gassing to you guys. Look. There. That's opposite where we started. Well, as we're dropping down the mountain, we seem to have swapped ailments, don't we, Nate? When we swapped ailments. 
His knees are hurting, my back's aching. Oh, what the f is all that back? That's where we was this morning, walked up that. Oh, no. Up and around the back of that. Made it all the way up to that. Proper squelchy under the feet. Shit. Lost the track a bit there. Came down over all this bog. Things are meant to come down here, I don't know. Hopefully back on track now. We can not far anyway, so hopefully we haven't got a scale of rock face. <laughs> There's no real defined track along here, so we are finding our way clumsily. It's getting shitty now because he walked on down there and then when I've checked the view ranger it's saying down here. It doesn't look like a path but neither does where he was taking us so he's working across. Nothing visible. There's a path on there isn't there? I don't even know if there's going to be a path here. Do you think it's the other side? That's a path coming down there, look. Oh well, there's not any cliff faces here, is there? Just follow the fence. Yeah, so that end bit there wasn't very clear at all. But we're there, the end is in sight. Whew. Oh, this is steep. This has been shit down here. Not enjoyed it. This last bit has been a fing ball ache. Slowed us down a bit, it was in good time. I think it's going to be like 9 o'clock by the time we get back, so nearly 12 hours out on the trail today. Here has been ground level. And f for that. He's just stopped on. I'll tell him we're camping, see what he says. Do you hear look? Hi, Sander Cock. Hi, right, Bert. How's it going? How's your Saunders? Oh, that was shit, wasn't it? That last bit. Hey? Yeah, it's push good. it up. Doing my head in. But it is what it is. Look, we we'll just come down that. Done. That's it's like the end of Ling Mel, wasn't it, for us? It wasn't. The Maybe curious. everything is like that when you come down <laughs> the Lake District. Oh, I'll tell you what, Nath. We go camping, shall we? Should we go and pitch a tent somewhere? Oh, is that what you want to do? Shall we? Are you being serious? Why well, don't you want to? Not particularly. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's all right. I'll just drive all the way home to Cornwall, it's fine. Even <laughs> Is that if, what you want to do? Even if we had the option for me to drive, you'd drive anyway because you're a shit passenger. I know. Yeah. Just get bored. I'd rather be driving. All right. You guys have been fantastic. You've really done well getting around there today with us. We've been awful. <laughs> We've had our moments. But that was a f***ing challenge, mate, wasn't it? We've done it. It was fair. fair I've got to be honest. Wasn't if I knew the walk, prior to setting off this morning with my back feeling the way it did. <laughs> Pretty sure that wouldn't have happened. No. Nathan, what time. hand you got free? Oh mate, I got me something or nothing hand free. I got me something or nothing hand free. It's been ages. Mind blown. Been ages. Districts. See you later. Cheese.